This video is sponsored by Bityard. With over 400 cryptocurrencies to choose from on their spot exchange, dozens of USDT pairs for futures trading, perpetual coin futures, trade commodities like gold, silver and oil, Forex and major indices like Nasdaq. You can buy crypto from Bityard with over 50 different fiat currencies using Visa, Mastercard, Google or Apple Pay. If you like, you can use their copy trade facility, follow other traders who will execute trades on your behalf or become a copy trader yourself. So if you want a bit of that, click the link in the description. Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're going to have a look at Jasmine, but before we do that in normal standard procedure, we've got to look at, I suppose, Bitcoin and traditional markets uh, just to try and navigate, you know, what's likely to take place if we're going to go down or up or whatever. Uh, I think effectively when we're thinking about Bitcoin, um, you know, the major downside so far has already been had and effectively what we're seeing is a range. Um, and uh, we're looking at things on the four hourly chart because things are so fast moving these days. So we had our tops around here and this, uh, basically what we're looking at here is a, a symmetrical triangle. And we've broken out of that. So we managed to hold all this support. And we have broken out of here as of today, you know, the last um, 24 hours, less than that. Um, but because it's so close to the edge of an apex, it's normally a bit of a non-event really. So uh, as we can see, I mean, this did hold uh, both sides. You know, we've got the, uh, whoops, I don't need that cloud back on there. Um, but we can see that the oh, Jesus Christ, uh, we can see that we basically held um, the the range here um, within the triangle. Now it's broken up, but it's it's a bit of a non-event basically. So we'll just get rid of that because we don't actually need it. It's, it's less relevant. And really, what we're thinking about is this range. So we're talking about basically thirty-one thousand five hundred uh, to basically about twenty-eight thousand six hundred. And whichever way we break out of here is the main. That, that's where the main next move would be. I would imagine for Bitcoin. Um, it would take us up to this 200 exponential which is the upper 34,000 zone on a four hourly though and it is downwards fa facing that uh, that moving average and so with it being downwards facing uh, we should expect it to be further and further down with every four hourly closure um, but again you know it is a subtle change of behavior at the moment we are above this 50 exponential which has been resistance since we've been in this range smacked back down here lots of resistance here smacked back down and uh, only recently we've just only crept above it so i'm not looking for anything powerful today uh, traditional markets will likely have an impact on all this so we'll just have a quick look at that and again i promise we're going to look at jasmine because i do think it's one of the better uh, altcoins to be thinking about as we approach what could be a miniature alt season not immediately uh, we, we might have some trending uh, moves with uh, altcoins if bitcoin decides to move up to that thirty-four thousand, but that wouldn't be alt season territory for me not not generally but jasmine is one of the coins that i've been thinking a lot about um as we approach these significant horrendous lows and if you've noticed it as we go down there we do perform some significant bounces right so this is a uh, bitcoin dominance again a bit of a no man's uh, land we want to approach this box before we really think about going into altcoins for uh, you know larger positions of altcoins and again this is only a very small entry for uh, for uh, altcoins it would uh, it would not be like 75% altcoin position as you would expect if you go into a larger altcoin position when you when you're at a higher dominance chart so this would be i don't know 25 percent uh, at best you know going into altcoins and it would be a sell the rip and uh, not hold continuously unless of course you have a plan for that altcoin and it's a bit you know you you know something uh, others don't or you, you don't particularly mind holding while the entire market is particularly you know especially volatile so yeah uh, bitcoin dominance it does look like it wants to curl over a little bit but if we think about this on the longer term where we turn on our indicators we've basically got every aspect of a bullish chart beginning so i would expect this to move up to here initially get a rejection spark a small alt season but effectively get picked up and continue to go up to 50 and then probably I would imagine we'd we'd probably find a peak around uh, 58 59 thereabouts anyway um, so that's your dominance chart so let's have a quick look at Nasdaq I know it's boring so Nasdaq here on the daily we saw we broke down where we got picked back up and we closed ever so slightly lower than the start uh, but it was a volatile day it was a pretty crazy day last Friday uh, and uh, we had that wick bought back up again so we bought back up more or less just into the close so it was a red day for the for the vast majority of Friday and then get uh, got bought back up that buyback is continuing ever so slightly as you can see that today we're up half a percent so far in the pre-market we do have bullish divergence on this though uh, all throughout the daily uh, which makes me think that you know it's just going to be a bit of a relief rally for the moment 
Uh, but it, it doesn't look particularly convincing to, to have a proper turnaround, but we could have a, a decent move up. Again, bullish divergence can form at this level, and it could push us up to about 13,000, if that was the case from where we are right now. We're talking just short of a 10% move, and that could take place throughout the, the rest of this week. Uh, for Nasdaq, so it does it does offer some upside, regardless of whether you want to play the dominance chart for alt season or you want to look at some altcoins in general. And um, but if we think just very briefly about how Bitcoin uh, broke out of that symmetrical triangle towards the end of the apex, I think what's likely to happen is that if we, if we do push up, we push up towards the top of the range, get sold off, we probably come back down towards the bottom of the range or maybe the centre of it. Uh, maybe we get picked up on the on the uh, on the 50 exponential, and then we have the power to move up through into uh, towards the uh, 200 exponential so i'm not looking for massive moves i'm still looking for a relative degree of chop to be honest with you so let's have a think about jasmine and what what this means for jasmine so if you think about jasmine it's a terrible looking chart it's awful it's one of the worst charts to be honest if you zoom out this is just the binance chart to go to gate io where it had a longer history it's even worse you can see where it came from it's, it's absolutely horrendous um, but uh, approaching these significant lows basically breaking down, down below a cent over here if you think about what the uh, recovery and uh, recovery is not the right word but if you think about the the move from the bottom to the top it's just short of 100 uh, percent we had a giant consolidation and we can see this a bit more clearly on the four hourly since the last rip um, rejection 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 and then break out so we're actually out of it now and what i'd be looking for really for a significant uh, entry point on this one because i bought some on the way down i've been buying little bits of it uh, but again given the nature of the market i i have been saying look let's not go too crazy on this one because if this one does work out over a longer period of time it has the possibility of yielding you know maybe 100x or so at best uh, even from you know from higher levels than this so yeah 100x from here i could see that um but it but with with a move like that uh, obviously high risk uh, and high returns you don't need to put loads in if you've got 100x all you need to do is put a f uh, 500 dollars in you get 50 grand back if it were to work out you know and if it doesn't work out well, it's only 500 dollars it's, it's no big deal and like i say if you want to put another 500 dollars in if it br if it breaks down even further feel free to do so we do have some areas of tangible supports stroke resistances so now we can see that we've broken outside of this descending channel of a tri triangle of its own and uh, and with that i would be looking arguably probably for a retest of this support the support is basically 1.1 cent basically 1.12 cent i'd be looking for that for a retest and i think that would be worthy of an entry point really uh, in the uh, in the event that we do bounce from here uh, and continue up at least to well, to the uh, the top of this range where we've where we've been in before so we had a bit of support here resistance breakout and a retest and then a support support and a support and a support and a support so it would stand to reason that this is going to be the major target for anyone that's looking to exit a short-term trade if they were to enter it at a relatively decent position and again from this support to this resistance about 50 percent so it's a decent move it's a tradable move definitely a tradable move and again just like bitcoin we're surfing above the the majority of the moving averages and we do have our 200 exponential above us which is at, the, at, at this current time 1.6 cent uh, so you know there, there's a lot of ground to make up on this one and again if you're happy to buy into this and hold into it for the long run there is a chance that you would yield 100 100 x you know there is that chance but this chart does not point towards 100 x at the moment <laughs> so let's face it it points towards more risk than return in the short term and um, outside of this trade setup that, we're, that we are thinking about here but again we can't uh, expect uh, jasmine to do anything outside of uh, bitcoin's normal uh, ups and downs so if bitcoin goes up jasmine goes up bitcoin goes down jasmine goes down and jasmine will emphasize bitcoin's move probably maybe by about three or four times uh, maybe even more is highly volatile and obviously with with, uh, with decent um, decent returns if you were to get it right but obviously it's very high risk so long story short i do like the way it's shaping up on the four hourly here uh, similar to that of bitcoin similar to that of nasdaq we might see some upside this week but chop until it's the uh, trend is, is decided and i would personally be uh, interested and probably will set a buy order up around this level um once i finish this video so i'm talking about 1.1 cent so for me i'd like to front run that ever so slightly just to get in i'll probably go for uh, 1.2 cent which for 
for me is is always been a magical number. There's lots of coins that I've picked up at 1.2 cent. They're kind of like a magical lucky number almost. It was always the the uh, the hallmark of Matic. I'd always say to people, look, if we go down to 1.2 cent, you get you've got you've got to get it, whether it's for a short term or a long term position. It's got to be got. You've got to buy it. Uh, it's, you might yield a a quick two or a three or a four x. Uh, but long term, you'll be looking to potentially, if it does work out, yield 100x. All of that would be in true. Now, Jasmine is a different kettle of fish. I'm just saying, uh, there's. Uh, I, I'm not superstitious, but it, it does seem to. Uh, d d 1.2 cent. I do like that that number, and I'll be picking some Jasmine up around that. Again, not loads. I'm not going to go crazy on this because I recognise that the chart is effectively an only down chart. The market does not permit. Uh, altcoins to uh, do 100x's right now. 100x's will be uh, something that takes place for altcoins a bit further down the line, let's face it, but from what low? And that's always the question. Now, Bitcoin is still holding up at this very moment in time around about 30,000, which is fine, uh, but the NASDAQ doesn't look like it wants to hold up at this particular level. And the correlation between the two is quite good. Uh, and I'm not saying that NASDAQ has to go down and bring Bitcoin down with it. That doesn't have to happen. But we understand what's bringing about the downside to all markets. And it's not so much the charts themselves. It's the things going on behind the charts. We're talking Federal Reserve Monetary Policy. We're talking interest uh, and inflation uh, and uh, quantitative tightening and all that jazz. And all the other things that fall into that, that, that are causing that, not just the, uh, the, the balance sheet of the Federal Reserve and them sort of shedding uh, all those positions. Uh, while raising interest rates but yeah we've got uh, fuel prices food prices supply chain issues and a lot of that uh, has been priced in but I think a lot of it is yet to find its way to our doorsteps um, as we eat through the reserves basically uh, so uh, we'll we'll see it rear its head and we'll see what kind of uh, impact that has on inflation generally I suppose a lot of this is regional, so if we're really just focusing on the American markets, they might be better off than the European and, and UK markets. Uh, you know, the, our inflation has just gone just uh, overnight, just went sh sh shot right up. But American markets could actually could actually see inflation peak from next month, but we will we will have to wait and see. We're talking about a three week period probably before we get that the the, the, the data through. Um, but I'm pretty optimistic, actually, about the American markets. Uh, the, you know, European markets, maybe not so much, but American markets, yeah, I can see it. I can see it um, digging itself out quicker uh, than, than the rest. But we'll, we'll see. We'll have to keep our eyes on the prize and our ear to the ground. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. So I am looking for a bit of upside, a bit of downside, and I would be uh, putting some skin back in the game for Jasmine uh, around that 1.2 set for what could be um, you know, close to, if not a 50% move, uh, before you could think about taking some profit on there. But again, you know, there's, there's no guarantees with something high risk like that. There's no guarantees with anything at the moment. We do need to keep our eye on the inflation data that comes through next month, and that will help us navigate through these charts a lot easier than we can do right now. Anyway, I hope you have a nice day. Feel free to join the Telegram, Patreon channel as well, and all the other things you could possibly find within my YouTube links. Anyway, take it easy, guys. Have a nice day.